this is where we're sleeping. Got ele electricity here. Main room, hall, I guess. Uh, the uh, bathroom area. There's a boy, a guy's bathroom in here. If you're a girl, you're probably like, oh, so that's what boys' bathrooms look like, huh? Oh, we've got a bit of a view over that direction at the moment, but there, not so much. Okay, so it says that this building was originally located elsewhere, and in 1892 it was uh, it was relocated. Oh, I'm not sure if it was 1892 that it was relocated here, but that's when it was uh, opened. In 1913, it became the caretaker's residence. In 1977, its name was changed to that of the camp house, and they did some upgrading in 1999. So yeah, it's a very old building then. You can well, as you can see, there's kind of a a bit of a bit of a lean on it, but still, it's probably built to last more so than than anything built being built right now. Not a bad kitchen. This is better than this is a lot better than what I was expecting. So, uh, uh, got the fridges here. So I've put my cheese for the tramp in there because I'm bringing cheese on the tramp. So I'm putting it in there for the night. Hopefully, I don't forget it in the morning. Uh, there. Microwave, uh, hot water zip. We are currently staying at the uh, North Egmont camp house. Um, Mount Taranaki is up there. Uh, I'm just standing at the back of the um, camp house at the moment. So our plan um, is to actually hike across the Poakai range, which is uh, over there somewhere, north of Mount Taranaki. Uh, the Poakai um, um, sort of um, mountain is actually uh, is actually was also a uh, a strata volcano as well, just like um, Mount Taranaki. It's uh, a lot older than Mount Taranaki. Uh, I think it's like a, a, um, it started forming like or oh, three hundred thousand years ago, or um, but it collapsed, which is why it's not as tall like Mount Taranaki anymore. Mount Taranaki's collapsed. Um, um, as well a few times just like Mount St. Helens did back in 1980. It's it's apparently it's done it about four times over the last um, uh, I think it was a hundred and hundred thousand years or so. So so Taranaki is quite a lot younger than um, Pohokai. There's a, cha a, a chain of um, volcanoes and they the, the older older they get is the further north you go. Um, so the, obviously the, the the youngest vent is the one on the um, south, flunk, south flank of Mount Taranaki. I can't remember what the name of it is, but there's a vent on that um, um, on the south side as well. You might see it. Um, you've got the main one at the top, of course. And then you've got the Poakai range, which is older. And then there's another range which starts with K, but I can't remember it. And then there's a couple of volcanic plugs um, near um, um, New Plymouth, um, or one of them is in New Plymouth. And then there's some more of um, remnants of volcanoes as you go out off the coast. Um, I think they're the Sugarloaf, Sugarloaf Islands or something like that. So they're remnants of even older volcanoes. So the further south they go, the younger they are. So obviously the volcanic activity, I'm not sure how a, geolog a geologist or a volcanologist would put it, but it's obviously been moving further south over the, the past several hundred thousand years, whatever it is. Ah, uh, yeah, the clouds cleared over in that direction. Um, if I zoom in, you might be able to see those uh, volcanic um, plugs I was talking about. Uh, so there they are there, those are the volcanic plugs that have eroded away. That's part of the same chain as the Puakai and Taranaki volcanoes, but they're much older. That just crossed my mind. <laughs> what, what? What would we do if it was time to erupt this weekend? Oh, she's worried that Taranaki is going to erupt this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it would be spectacular, but I feel like I'd be a bit close. Yeah, well, it would be spectacular for a little while, and then you probably, yeah. Sunset in about 10 minutes, so, yeah. Just relaxing on the couch. With a cup of green tea, had to put some uh, longer pants on because uh, it's getting a bit cold. So um, yeah.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah. We're going over here. And then we're going over here. <laughs> and that's that first hold of volcanoes, the volcano I was talking about. Mm, I'll hold that. Oh, there. Can you press your one? Oh, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> oh, that's where we are at the moment. Oh, yeah. So I'll take, take, out, take your fingers off. And one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. The Kaitaki Range to the north, half a million years old. Then the Porco Range that we're climbing, quarter of a million years old. And Taranaki is only almost 130,000 years old. Oh, it's older than I thought, I thought it was about 100,000 years old. So there you go. They got a little mini museum here. They call it a display area. And actually, we've spotted, I've seen plenty of those around. Hmm. I should be walking on the right side, shouldn't I? Yeah. There they are. I'm guessing that's the start of the track proper. So here we go, we're at the track proper now. That's the road that we just came off. Um, so we are we're doing this one. Six hours, apparently. I think she said it's quarter past nine at the moment. So supposedly we'll get there by quarter past three, but we can probably add a good hour and a half to that. All the steps coming up. Oh, it's a bit steep, isn't it? Steep and wider before. Oh, wow. this bridge very much. Let's just see through there, a bit like a gorge. Reminds me a little bit of the South Island, that water. No, I don't really like walking across here though. little boardwalk for a while which makes a change from the mud and tree roots.
That is one big spider web. Orb web to be precise. I think it's a is it a horizontal one? Um how big it is. My hand Look how big it is. <laughs> well you can certainly see that the uh, water comes gushing through here. <laughs> There's a shelter through the bushes there. Like there was some sort of pink mushroom there that's been trodden on now, but look at that pink Rims, remnants of a pink mushroom. Never seen a pink one before. Huh. It's been trodden on there. It's a lot of uphill, steep uphill at the moment. Just up, up, up. Oh. Well, what the heck's that? Few of a few of these grizzlini around growing as growing as epiphytes. Yeah. You've probably got one of those in your uh, in front of your front lawn. <laughs> Taranaki at the moment. <laughs> Apparently it's the camp house where we stayed last night. That's as far as my zoom goes in. Far, far away. Still climbing, climbing, climbing. But at least now there's a bit of a view to accompany it, accompany it which is which is good. It looks like we're climbing all the way out there. I think that must be the peak that they're talking about. Whew. Well, at least we're not climbing up there. Uh, <laughs> One thing I've noticed is that it's really quiet up here, besides a bit of a breeze. Go away, fly. Pretty quiet. Some interesting plants up here. Here's a whole lot more of it. Starting to see the tops of the rest of the Pohokai Mountains there. The more I head up, the more and more I can see of that stream or river. Some lakes down there too. It's the peak, whatever peak it is. Henry. Henry's peak. How high is Henry? 12, 24 meters. 
Spider, look behind you. It's an interesting jumping spider. Oh, it's seen me. <laughs> look at its little eyes. Oh, oh, now it's on the camera. Uh, stop moving now. Oh, there it goes. Go on, move. Do something interesting, go on. Oh, oh there it goes. Lots of weird bugs up here. Some kind of weevil. Four hours? Oh, yeah. Look who it is. Yeah, look, who, look who showed up. <laughs> Our damn relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's where our track continues down there. Can you put the, see it? So that's the Pohokai Mountains. So I've been informed that is a swamp and we're going to walk through it on the third day. What's the name of the swamp? Tomorrow. Walk through it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, we're walking through it tomorrow. <laughs> Ahukawa Kawa Spagnum Moss Swamp. Oh. Interesting. Just like on a lot of other hikes I've done, we see this uh, really interesting subalpine uh, vegetation. Always uh, looks a bit unusual, doesn't it? That's some kind of hebe there. Check that out. Used to be uh, just a long muddy trench, but now they're uh, they put a lot of work into do the boardwalk like this. But part of the reason is to for hikers to make it easier for hikers but the other half of the reason is to protect the uh the, all the um cool subalpine plants <laughs> no i i'm just wondering if someone need help for the ladder to go down that one? I can be abstinent. Easy. Interesting plant. Almost succulenty. Quite fleshy leaves. Oh, oops, <laughs> almost died. She walked up and we were like, oh, maybe you know, now, come back, come back, up again, maybe, maybe now, <laughs> came back. <laughs> 
Can I just put yeah. some food out here? Yeah. Must have been the old boardwalk there. They're putting a new one in by the looks of it. Oh, praise Odin. There's the hut. Yay! Stinky toilets, yay! Well, that looks cool down there. Sun shining through the clouds onto the mountains. Oh, I think I better take my boots off. Oh, I've climbed all the way back up from the hut to see the mountain at dusk and I was regretting my decision but as you can see it's probably been worth it. Wow. Oh, it's lucky I did come up. <laughs> it's all red. Are you going to go to the tarns? Oh no, I'm not going to the tarn, no. No, this is good enough. I mean, tarn would be really cool, but I'm too tired. clouds really are moving in. I haven't even had dinner yet. I'm going to have to go make sure I get dinner in time before everybody starts going to bed.